and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game, and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual one million pounds. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Sir, you want to answer the traditional general knowledge questions. Good choice. Let's see how far up the money tree you can go, starting with five questions to get you up to £1,000. Have a look at question one. Aha! Audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads or vote now. Looks like the audience might have just got you out of jail. I presume you are going to go for D on the back of that. That's very good for 100 quid. Don't worry, you still have two lifelines available. Here comes question number two. Well done, two out of two for you. Let's move swiftly on to question number three. You wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And you haven't! Well done! OK, question number four coming up. You still have two lifelines if you need them. Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You've got the right answer. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. Well done, you've made it to the first milestone. Well done, £1,000 safely in the bank. But I don't want to give you that just yet. Take a look at the next question. It's worth £2,000. Take your time, you can still use your 50-50 or phone a friend if you don't know the answer. Well done, you just won yourself £2,000. OK, a chance to double that £2,000 to £4,000 now with question number seven. The very best of luck, here it comes. Very well done, that's the right answer. You've just won £4,000. Well, you're making very good progress, and you're now just three questions away from securing yourself a guaranteed £32,000. The first of those questions is worth 8,000. However, you would lose 3,000 pounds if you gave me the wrong answer. Very well done, that's the right answer and it's worth 8,000 pounds. You're just two correct answers away now from guaranteeing yourself 32,000 pounds. The first of those two questions is worth 16,000. Now, you do not have to play this if you don't want to, but you do have a 50-50 and a phone a friend available to help you find that correct answer. Best of luck, here it comes. OK, that is your final answer. And it's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less 
than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. If this is right, you've won £32,000. It is right. You're assured of a big win. Right, you can relax a bit now, mainly because you cannot lose anything by giving me the wrong answer to the next question. If you give me a correct answer, I'll double your £32,000 to £64,000. And if you don't know the answer, you still have a 50-50 available, or you can phone one of your friends for a bit of help. The very best of luck. Here comes question number 11 of a possible 15. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? If this is the right answer, you've just won £64,000. It is the right answer. Well done, you're doing really well. £125,000, it's a lot of money and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the £32,000 you have just won if you do give me a wrong answer, though, at this point. Here comes question number 12. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. You could be about to lose £93,000. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. OK, you want to use your 50-50 lifeline. Computer, can you take away two wrong answers for us, please? Well, you took away two wrong answers, but has it helped you win a quarter of a million pounds? It most definitely has. Great use of your lifeline. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual cheque for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question question. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have £500,000. Fantastic! Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines, but you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Prior to becoming US president, this man was the governor of which state? Florida, Ohio, California, Texas. Well, I don't blame you for using a lifeline if you're not sure. Pick one of your friends and we'll give them a call. How are 
card is that? Surely no one you could have wrong would know that. I'd use another lifeline if you have any left. Oh dear, if you were banking on that to win you some cash, you'd better think again. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner. Fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all-expensive-paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?